who do you think from this season should go? Who do you feel like didn't really bring it this season? Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the first after show of the Come Up Atlanta season three. Of course, we have to have the one, the only, Dion on for the drama first. originator. The <laughs> drama originator. The one people love to hate, the one people love, or the one people hate. I don't know. It's, I don't know. But how are, how you yeah. been? How's everything going? I'm good. I actually, you know, I came from work to do this right here, and I'm here. I'm ready to speak my piece and speak some opinions. And, you know, you know, my opinions go a long way. They do. They're not liked, but they go a long <laughs> way. How are you, though? I'm doing good. I'm excited to, to dive into the season, to talk to you and get your opinions on things, mm. and to get into some yeah. things. I think that there's a yeah. lot going on this season that people are going to be really shocked by. I'll start off by saying this. What made you come back for season three? Honestly, I think what happened was I was, one thing about me is, and you know this, watching myself on camera is very hard to do. Like, I don't like my voice. I don't like anything I say. All of a sudden, what I found funny in the moment isn't funny when I watch it. Like, it, 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 some things are just, it just wasn't there. Um, I thought that the Darion situation that happened to me at the reunion was just kind of like, maybe a reset isn't so bad. Maybe I can allow people to see who I am. Um, because what I showed, what I, who I was last year is not who you are this year. Yeah. So, you know, things change, people change, atmospheres change and hearts change. And I thought it would be a good idea for me to come back and, you know, just just be in the loop with some of these guys that are here but also I didn't want to steer away from Milan and you know like we we formed the friendship on the show and it's continued out, off the show and I just wanted to continue that and also we have I have so much fun and he it took a little bit of commitment you really think I was just gonna let y'all get me one season in and one season out oh no 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 I'm here till I'm ready to leave Okay. Then I will leave. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, you know, things left off at the reunion pretty crazy. And I mm -hmm. think, you know, the season definitely starts off addressing those those issues. You know, I mean, the, the fans who already didn't watch the episodes already know exactly how you felt about the situations. But definitely, I want to ask, going into the new season, did you have a different approach of how you want to handle things or maybe handle conflicts or conversations this time? I did. I thought of how I was last year and I could probably see some of the fans advice more than most, most likely Milan's advice and, you know, speaking to my parents about how you approach certain situations. It, it, it was, I was battling between, should I just continue being my good old shady self or should I just continue to be shady, but also knowing when to be shady and how to be shady, you know, time and place. And I've, I think this season I definitely saw when to be shady and when to retract from certain situations because not everything involved me. Seeing Milan and Darion's conversation, um, how did how did how did you feel about that? I wasn't shocked, but also I've told y'all Milan is naturally shady. Like I know that I've won the crown for so long and to see the first episode, the second episode, but of course me filming it in, in that time, I've always said that he was shady. I never, uh, I never understood how people were like, oh, Milan's just this angel, which he's very nice, he is. But Milan says things just like the rest of us. Sometimes it is funny. Sometimes I'm like, oof. Milan. I'm like, is it a little hostility up in here? Like, where did this come from? But <laughs> I personally am loving the fact that Milan is being very boisterous with himself. He is not allowing people to speak for him. He is making kids look, it, it, we, move, we don't move past it though. But <laughs> I am just loving this Milan. Like, I've known him this whole time. Y'all are just getting to see him, but 
I, I love the fact that everybody is getting to see and living from the Milan that I know because Milan is very quick with it. He's smart, he's intelligent, but he also will draw the line and get you together with a child. And then he'll come back and make you a good old meal. That's how Southerners do. They get you together, cook a good collard greens, fried chicken, some cornbread, macaroni and cheese, and they feed you. So in the conversation with Milan, you brought up that you're talking to someone named Shane and that story mm. is definitely going to play out this season. A lot of people have been talking about that. What made you want to open up about your dating life this season? You know, I thought that was something that I was actually dealing with. It was a real personal moment. For me. Like I was really going through that. And as much as Milan knows it, you knew it, other people know it. I was really going through that. And I really felt at the time that I was I was doing a lot of emotion to not share. Like I was crying all the time or either I was just very angry and I and then I, all of a sudden I started crying because I got angry. But I just felt like at this moment in this day and age or this season, I should say, I think that it was it was okay and it was befitting for people to see a little bit more of me. I think that a lot of people DM me saying that Dion, we love you, but we don't know a lot about you. Or we do want to we want to get to know you through the screen. Like we want you, we want to, we want to, we want you to be that homeboy that we know down the way and down the street. And I was kind of like that shady person that you know lives around the corner. You don't really get too close to them because you know if you tell them your business, the whole tenant's gonna know. And I wanted to be a little more homey. And I will say without giving too much away because I can't as much as I y'all want me to, I can't. Um, it was definitely a roller coaster for me. It was definitely a roller coaster for Shane. It was some things that were brought up to me that I had no clue. And I think that for me, I gave my true heartfelt, honest opinion about Shane, the situation, how I was treated and how I felt. And I've washed my hands of it, but it will be interesting to see that play out again because that was months ago. And, <laughs> you know, like I'm in a different headspace, but at the same time, you know, when you watch these things back, it, it brings those memories of, you know, either love or lust or, you know, just those emotional attachments that you have with that person. So it'll be interesting for me to watch this all over again and to see myself get angry again. Yeah, but I will say this, what you saw in the trailer was a real raw moment for me. I never let anybody see me like that, never. Cause I never really try to break a sweat. All I can say is that day I broke a sweat. <laughs> And production saw me break a sweat. And it 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 was it, it it was definitely an eye turner or a head turner, I should say, an eye opener. Yeah. How could you describe this season? You know, the trailer's out, the show's starting to air. We're about to get into episode three. So it's really about to start kicking off to a lot of the, the juicy stuff. I will say this this season to me is going to be probably. And I can't say it's going to be our best one because we have more seasons to come, but it will definitely be one of the best seasons filmed so far. Like, it's a roller coaster. It really had me, like, drop, jaw-dropping at the fact that all these revelations were coming about. You got this one over here doing this, that's over here doing that, but you got these two over here talking about. Like, it's just so much to keep up with. So I just want to say to the fans, pay attention. If you hear one conversation, remember it. Mm. take it to the next one remember what the last one just said because you can't forget if you miss an episode you have to go back and watch it because you're going to forget you have to follow the story and i can say production will attest to it follow the story follow don't the story. miss the thing because it gets real deep and the rabbit hole get, we about to get knee deep in some of they shit i was gonna season. say I, like it's right now like you know the season i think is i think this season took a different approach. You know, it's not like rah-rah in your face right now. I think we're gradually yeah. getting there. But when it gets dark, it gets dark. It's gonna get, it's gonna get really, really uh, intense. <laughs> the- it will be nice. It's gonna be nice. It'll be, well, nice, but also it'll be, mm, I would say surprising to see slash amazing to see different people's opinions. Because I will say this, you are gonna have some teams. You're going to have some people be team A or they're going to have some people be team B and team C. So it'll be different to see where the fans fall in the categories. Um, It'll be different to see the cast members after they see what's going to take place. Because, you know, 
remember, not every cast member has seen every scene. I know people were asking, you know, about the whole camera situation. Um, how, how did it feel having to kind of like, we filmed a whole <laughs> season and then, yeah, I had to like reshoot the season pretty much. Uh, like, how was that when? It was hard. It was hard because we had a, I honestly felt like we had a great lead up into the season. We did. Like, right, wrong, indifferent, who did X, who did Z. It doesn't matter. The point is, the cast we had was great. The cast we have now is still great. But it is hard to know that you have worked hard to film all of that and for it to be gone in like a split second and you know that you'll never get it back. And you have to, production, I should say, has to regroup and they have to come back to the drawing board. They have all this stuff written on the board and now they have to erase it all away. And we have to restart. And you have to be out here longer away from your family and who you have at home. And we have to do the same thing about who we have at home or I want to be working this week or making some extra money. And then I'm like, oh, but I'm committed to filming X, Y, Z. Now I ain't missing money, but I'm just saying, you're committed to doing a job. So I think it was very hard for certain people and for everybody, actually, not even certain, for everybody to be back in the same space again. We got months apart from each other. We went from filming months, months, days, days together. Then all of a sudden we had a break and you had a break. And then you had to regroup again to be like, okay, well, I had a time away from you guys. So now I have to, it's kind of like get to know some of these girls all over again, because I, you didn't talk to them in that break. And now you're getting to know them again. It's like, okay, huh. I didn't like you. The, I liked you the first time, but the second go around, I'm not really feeling you. You know, that's how some people think. So I will say we did a great job at the end of the day. I don't care what anybody says. I personally don't care how anybody feels. It has nothing to do with me or said other people. I feel like the cast has really did their thing by refilming and doing the job. And oh, they did the damn thing. Who are you expecting to clash with the most this season? You know, I... So I will say this, I wasn't there for a lot of events. I, 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 I was very much in and out throughout the season. I had my own personal struggles going on with COVID. You will see that in the show. Um, I had to work. I, I mean, I just had a lot going on. So it's not like I'm not on the show. I am on the show. It's just, I'm not there for when some heavy shit's about to go down. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not there for that. But I will say I personally... I thought I would clash with Anthony. I just thought it was gonna come. I just knew in my head that from what I was hearing, he was a very rambunctious, tell it like it is. I can say what I wanna say. And you know, I'm giving this very much this West LA Hollywood, Kim Kardashian vibe. And if you don't like what I have to say, then that just sounds personal. So I, I just was like, oh yeah, one of those. Mm, one of those <laughs> so I, in my head I was like wow well, I want to go into it with an open mind open mind open heart and I was just like just for the love of God don't come for me what event this season without giving too much away was your favorite to, to attend because we, well, we did a couple of theme themed parties and stuff like that. This for, I will say for the one that I went to, I thought the wig party was spectacular. I thought Milan did a great job. Um, we had food and he had games planned and yeah, it just went left. Mm. Can't say why, can't say by who, but it went left. And it took me and my Tina Turner wig, it took me out. I was just like. Edges were completely gone by the end. Like my bang was shifted and I didn't even get touched, but my bang was shifted. Like it was over here. So I want to get into, I know that like some people, this is like, I guess for the people who want to be on a reality show or who wants to get into like filming um it's 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 like explain a little bit about how, like how it works for you as a as a cast member between like filming it watching it back like how is just the experience overall when it comes to like being on a show i will say step one you really have to go into it with the preconceived notion of nobody cares about your feelings when i say that 
I am not saying that production doesn't care about your feelings, but you also have to realize production also has a job. I may be friends with some people on production, but I also have to keep in the back of my mind, this is a job. So regardless of whether I've said something or I want something, I don't want something to come out, I can't go to my friend and when he takes off the producer hat or whatever the case is, I can't go to that person and say, hey, don't put that in there because we cool. It doesn't work like that. And I think a lot of times when we watch these gay web series, that's what's happening. They're expecting their friend to not put certain stuff in there. And when they do, it's like, ooh, friend, why would you do that? Mm-hmm. And it's like, at the end of the day, this is a show. I'm, you make money just like the rest of us do. And we all put our entertainment like the rest of us do. We all want this to grow into a big network like everybody does. Yeah. So you can't take it personal. That's step one. I will say step two is, and I know it's crazy for me to say this, but be yourself. Legit, you don't have to start anything. You just come into the scene. You literally just be yourself. And if people like you, people will like you. If they don't, they don't. This is life. This is real life. Excuse me. This is real life. And you know, if people don't like you, oh well, oh well. You still can. You can. You come to the scene being you, authentically you. And everybody will either again like you or they don't. And I will give y'all this. My prediction for this reunion is I do think it's going to get emotional. I was just about to ask you that. Like, how, what do you, what do you think do. the reunion's going to go? Because this we have a theme this time for the reunion, so I'm excited. We do. We're going to look all great and lathered up. <laughs> and I think that this reunion is going to go really good. I think that we are going to make sure that we are asking the right questions from the fans because they want to know X, Y, Z. And also, I'd like to know X, Y, Z. Again, I do keep stating this, but I wasn't there for a lot of the season. So some things, just like the viewers, I am watching for the first time. So I am seeing these interactions go down. And I'm like, Milan, Karan, did this really happen? Yes. The ending um, definitely had a lot of people laughing and it had a lot of conversations Mm -hmm. going about you not wanting to go and talk with Darion. you know, kind of walk us through that. Like, you know, was it like, I, I completely get where you're coming from. Like, I think that mm-hmm. if I had gotten into a physical altercation with someone and it was time to actually sit down with them, I'd be like, you know what? Maybe I just don't want to talk to them right now. Like maybe when I would either, when I run into them, we'll talk or, you know, so how yeah. does watching that scene back, um, do you feel like, oh, I, you should have talked to him or do you feel like, oh, whatever? Um, I felt like I did what was best for me. I felt like I did, I was actually ready to talk, but then all of a sudden the emotional toll it plays on me. And then also the visual that keeps coming in my head, of course, it's just really hard. And I think that when you have people who are sitting there telling you to get over things or, you know, it's time to move on, who cares? It was two years ago. To me, that's not fair. Because if something happened to you, I would not, I would never tell you to just get over it. Yeah. The camera situation happened to you. I never not once said, okay, Karan, it's over with. Like, just move on. Yeah. That's always going to be in the back of your head because again, your equipment is still floating around out there. Yeah. So it'll always be in your head. Like, I really got my stuff stolen. Like, for real. So for me, I have to sit down and have a conversation and see where we go from here. It's like, no, I'm good. Like, I, I, I'm i good. So um, people were saying something about Milan not being a real friend for trying to, like, crush you into talking. Kind of address that, because I don't, I don't really see where that's coming from. You know, when I see that stuff, I honestly think that it's not fair to say he's not my friend, because he is my friend. Milan has told me things that you, certain people don't know about him. I have told him personal things, but he's also always told me, he's never told me wrong, and he's never steered me wrong. So to sit up here and say that Milan's not my friend, it just really, it really baffles me. I don't really pay attention to those types of comments because if I really felt like Milan wasn't my friend, trust me, I'd be voicing that to Milan and I'd be voicing it in my confessional. So no, I I just think that people should just continue watching the show. They don't understand me and Milan's banter. We always shade each other. Every time I see Milan, it's it's a shade fest because that's just how we do. And it's naturally and it's fun. So no, Milan is my friend. So let's get into some games. I want to ask a couple questions, some rapid questions. I want you to mm-hmm. answer as honest as you can. Um, try not to think too much about it. Just say whatever comes to the top of your head. 
um, and we'll play a couple of fun games and then we'll end okay. it, um, you know, on, on something. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I want to say, or I want to ask is, if you could bring back two people, who would you bring back and why? Okay, I definitely bring back Chris Hampton. Okay. I think that Chris is bad and she definitely needs to be in this group and this in, in this go round. Um <laughs> yeah. Chris, I can't give you two because um yeah, I can't give you two because I I, I don't know anybody from season one. Okay. And I didn't really know anybody from season two. I, I I knew the people that I knew, and that's it. So Chris, bring on bring on Chris Hampton. Okay. Um, who do you think from this season should go? Who do you feel like didn't really bring it this season? I plead the fifth. <laughs> oh, I plead the fifth, child. I plead the fifth. You ain't gonna get me. Is it, is it more than one person? No. Do you think just one person didn't bring it at all? Mm-hmm. Uh, I wouldn't say they didn't bring it. I just think that we could use a fixer-upper. Okay. That's what I will say. A fixer-upper. I wouldn't say they didn't bring it because they're definitely locked in a lot of the drama. But I a fixer-upper. Okay. I want to ask about, I want to say each cast member's name. I want you to give me like just a, a word that pops okay. in your head that describes them. Okay. Milan. The best thing that ever happened. Quite. Fun size and short and beautiful. Anthony. Shady, surprisingly. Judy Doll. Um, I, no, I was going to say she gives great fashions when she's doing her balls. I've never been to the ball, but Judy is hands down top 10 when I see her all dressed up. Top 10. Messiah. Handsome, funny, but, you know, Messiah does a lot. That's all I'm going to say. He, 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 sometimes he do too much. He, he do too much. And I know it's coming from me, a person who does too damn much. But <laughs> Messiah does a lot. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes perturbed by some of the things he does. But he's a fun time, though. Okay. There we go. Surprisingly changed. And watching this, I am loving this but what he's showing, loving it, loving it. Like, I think that, and I just want to say this, but I do think that the domestic violence situation he talked about, I did reach out to him and I loved it. I, I love the fact that he was open about that, even though he cried. That's that emotion that people want to see. So I will say this season, you guys are going to definitely see him come out of the little bit of shell. And then it kind of goes back into <laughs> some old ways, but love it. Last but not least, Dion. I mean, amazing, funny, shady, intelligent, beautiful, smart, very nice, extremely shady, I should say. Um, I definitely think that Dion is not the Dion we saw last year. It is a definitely rejuvenation, reboobs, you know, new boobs, facelift, maybe an ass lift. I don't have any ass, but we're gonna put a little bit there. Um, I took some from Milan and he let he loaned me his ass and I got it. So, um, yeah, I think that Dion is Dion is new, new money. Yeah, new I, money. I, I like to see the growth this season with you. I think you open up a lot more and you really give the fans an inside look into your life with COVID, your dating life, your what you're doing at work. Oh, speaking mm-hmm. of that, a lot of people love that your, your, your come up is not, you know, makeup, dancing, rapping, mm-hmm. like the entertainment side. It's more of like, well, I'm in the healthcare field, but this is my come up, you know what I'm saying? And it's, yeah. Yeah, it's refreshing. Talk about how you feel like that's important to kind of show real life, um, real life, real life work. I think that when we join these shows, we always see the same repetitive and it's no shade to anybody on these platforms who do different lines of work because everything is everything is needed because at the end of the day, a, a bitch love a good beat. 
one bitch might love a good hairdo, another bitch might love a good photographer or modeling or rapping or whatever. But I do think it's 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 very behooving to this show to see somebody who is doing something completely different, out of the norm. You're talking about different things about something in health on your body. You know, people some people may learn a few things. Some people may not know what an MRI stands for, magnetic resonance imaging. They may not have even known that. So it's just nice to see that some people are really loving the fact that I'm showing my life and, you know, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get to the money just like everybody else. I'm just doing it in a different way through schooling, through my job, through like being, you know, because you have to have license for these sorts of things, these certain things. And I'm just trying to elevate and I'm never want to stay in the same place. So even by next season, you may see me in a whole different, different thing. Like, you know, healthcare is so open and it's so many specialties and it's things to do. So I really want to say before we, I know we got to um, do the thing, but I, I really want to say I, I appreciate Gemini Films for even putting that out there and allowing me to film my job and to show, you know, making me feel comfortable to show myself this go round, the second go round. Because at first, my first go round, it wasn't that I was comfortable. I just probably, it was new. Like the cameras was new for me. I, I, I never did all this. And I was just saying what I thought, you know, would be whatever. And, you know, it, I felt like I lost myself in the first season. I wasn't being me. And, you know, I remember having that conversation with you when you were like, Dion, always remember, be yourself. Because I know the Dion to always say what he wants to say, but he's also his self yeah. at the same time. Don't, don't lose yourself in doing these shows. So I want to thank you so much for coming on doing the after show. I know it's about to end. So mm. I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning into the after show. Dion will be back for us to kiki and get into some more things that happens this season. Please tune in Wednesdays at 8 p.m. on Gemini Films to watch all the crazy mess go on this season of the Come Up Atlanta season three. It was a pleasure. You guys stay tuned. I promise we won't disappoint. And if I disappoint, these other bitches won't. I guarantee you that. So it was good. It was good seeing you. Good night. Everybody have a great night.